and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will be testing out the Iron Revolution Tasty Avocado Palette. This is the last palette that I have to try. If you didn't see my other videos, I will link them somewhere up here. But I tested out the Tasty Pizza one and the Tasty uh, Chili. And I love them both very much. So I'm also really excited to try this one out. The palettes are really affordable. They retail for uh, 12 euros, but I got them in the Netherlands for 75% off. So a really great deal. And I think still for 12 euros, they're absolutely amazing. I really love the pigmentation from the other palettes. So um, yes, let's test this one out. If you're new here on my channel, I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey. And I make a lot of videos about beauty, lifestyle, uh, vlogs here in Turkey. So if you like that, make sure you subscribe. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And now let's get started with the video. So this is how the packaging looks. It has a really big avocado on it. And it has like a 3D effect. It's lay like on top of the packaging. And it's really soft, so I love it. And then these are the colors. As you can see, a lot of beautiful green and blues but also some neutral shades like this one right here. A few really beautiful brown shades. So this palette is a little bit out of my comfort zone, I would say. I never wear green shades on my eyes, uh, but yes, let's give it a go. But yes, I'm really excited to try it out and to see how it looks on me. Also what I like to mention, what I also did in the other videos is the big mirror. I think this is really great to have if you travel or just in general to have. So yes, let's get started. And I'm going in with this shade right here. And it's called Half. Like I said, the other uh, palettes are absolutely amazing. The pigmentation is really great. And I hope this one won't disappoint. As you can see, it is quite pigmented already. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I already applied my base, as you can see. And I applied some concealer on my eyelid uh, for the base. As you can see, it's quite pigmented. I think it's a really lovely green color. I'm not really sure how it looks on me though. But yes, nice pigmentation. Then I'm going in with this color right here. And it's called Seeds. And I will apply this again in the crease. Beautiful warm brown shades. Again, super pigmented. And I'm slowly blending this in. Little bit of fallout, but nothing too crazy. As you can see, it's super pigmented. Then I'm going in with this shade right here, which is called Pear. Pear, Pear, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids. Oh, this is a really pretty shade. The shimmer is so beautiful. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but really beautiful green color. I have to say I do really love this shade. This shade is so shimmery, I love it. This is my favorite shade so far. Then I'm going in with this shade right here, which is called Green Gold. And this looks quite similar, but a little bit darker, I would say. Yes, indeed, it's a bit darker. And a little bit more of a apple green color. I think again the pigmentation is great of this palette. I'm not really sure though how the green looks on me. I think if you have brown hair, maybe a little bit more tanned, it will look better. But I do really like the shimmery shades on my eyelids. Then I want my crease a little bit darker, so I'm going in with a toast. And toast is this one right here. Then I'm also going to apply a little bit underneath my eye and I'm going again in with a half and green gold. And also a little bit of toast. And then I'm going to apply this shade right here underneath my eyebrow. 
also a little bit in my inner corner. Then I'm going to finish my look off with some eyeliner and a mascara. The eyeliner I use is the Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. And for my lips, I'm using the Clinique uh, Chubby Stick and I'm not really sure what's the number but I will have a look and I will write it down in the description box down below. It is a really pretty dark nude. So this is the look I created. I think again this palette is like amazing. I would say the colors are not as wearable as the uh, other ones. I think I will use the pizza and the chili one more often because of the colors. They have a lot more like natural and nudes and this one obviously has a lot of green shades. But I have to say I do really like it. The pigmentation is again really great like the other ones and obviously you can also create a uh, everyday looks with it but not as wearable as the other ones but yes overall if you are into green shades or if you want to create some bold looks this is a great palette to have so i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did don't forget to give the huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel i upload every wednesday and saturday a brand new video and of course you can also follow me on instagram and i hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos Bye.